Hey, what's up Street Talks? It's Eric Kim from the Eric Kim Street Photography Blog. So, I wanted to do a quick review of a new book that I got. Ready for it? It is... Dun 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 dun! Uh, the Mexicans by Andre, uh, uh, Andrew Quilty. So, uh, a little bit of background about the book uh, and Andrew Quilty. So, about two months ago, I was in Australia and I did some street photography workshops there, and I met up with um, a photographer named uh, Tamara Vaninsky, and she was actually one of the founding members of an Australian photo collective called Oculi. This is, this is one of their books, amazing book, I'll, I'll review this later too. But Tamara, she's, um, or Tamara, no, Tamara, Tamara. I always remember it's Tamara rhymes with camera. So, uh, she was uh, one of the founding members for Oculi, and it's uh, it's one of the most prestigious Australian photo collectives out there. It's kind of a mix between uh, journalism and fine art photography, and you know there's a lot of familiar faces in there. Some people you probably recognize are like um, you know like uh, Jesse Marlowe is also an in public, and um, some other people. I'm going to do an interview with them soon, so I'll be showing that as well. But anyways, I met up with uh, on one of my last days uh, there. I met up with, uh, you know, Tamara and a bunch of the other Oculi members, Nick Moore, and um, I actually met up with Andrew Quilty. And after seeing some of his work, especially um, his book, uh, The Mexicans, and you know, he gave me he gave me a nice signed copy, which was very generous of him. Thanks, Andrew. So his sweet uh, signature right there, and it's a uh, it was a really amazing book because um, recently I've been really into color. And you know Andrew, he shoots with um, colored slide film, and essentially the the background of the story of the Mexicans was, you know, he jumped into like this three hundred dollar you know crappy truck. He just drove around Mexico for a few months. He just created really phenomenal images. And it's kind of a mix between um, Robert Frank, you know, think about the Americans. So the Mexicans is kind of a play off that, and you know the work of Alex Webb. So searing lights, you know, great complexity, great layers, and also uh, constantly manos. So I wanted to just, you know, really encourage you guys, um, you know, if you can, to pick up a copy of the book and to kind of show you through um, the book itself. So so the, the book actually comes with different covers. I don't have it on me right now, but, you know, I'll just give you guys a look through. So here's the book. And I, you know, I'll go through. So you open it. And starts off with a nice intro image of one of his images a really nice introduction that he has uh, written first spread second spread Yeah, sorry for the glare. It's um, my computer's right next to the window, and just I don't know, just the color, the complexity, and the types of shots he gets is amazing. Like this shot here on the right, I just uh, love the way the lights hitting the scene, and just you know, other scenes like this is quite you're like, what the hell's going on? <laughs> so he's it's really nice combination between um, you know not only capturing these kind of decisive moments, but just the way he's able to really paint with light. And um, I did an interview with him, which is in the description below. He kind of describes himself as a, a visual anthropologist. So it's kind of a mix of, I s suppose, you know, studying the people through this kind of journalism approach, the street photography aesthetic, but at the same time creating images that are just really wonderful and very poetic. One of my favorite images. Just the light, um, you know. Just a quick flip through the book because I can't show you guys every page. Oops. Yeah, it's really awkward to hold the book and show pages at the same time. Uh, I guess I'll try to hold it like this. Just some sample spreads. Yeah, beautiful, and. You know, the reason why I would recommend getting the book over just uh, seeing on the internet is, I mean, A, it's, I mean, it's a lot bigger. It's a pretty big, it's a pretty uh, reasonably sized book. And 
you know, one of the things I find really interesting and important in photo books is not only the layouts, but the sequencing, the editing, and really the mood, the emotion it gives you. And, you know, it's, it's, it's the type of book that, you know, on a nice summer, warm day, just kind of sitting outside with a beer or a glass of wine and just flipping through the book. And just really the emotion and the colors and the light that I get from the book, it just really calms you down, really relaxes you. And, you know, could be a great opportunity for you to understand, you know, if you wanted to create your own book, to see how he layered and, uh, you know, created the book. And, you know, all the images are just phenomenal images. Like, it's been a while since I've seen, um, you know, some contemporary um, photographers, especially work in color, that just really moves me and really touches me. Um, so if you're interested in checking out the book, um, you know, check out Andrew Quilty. Uh, his info will be below. Check out my interview with him. It's very insightful about uh, what he's been working on the book. And, you know, pick up a copy of The Mexicans, support him because, you know, self-publishing, it's, it's, pretty, it's pretty expensive and, you know, very rarely do these artists actually break even on the books, but they do it because they really love it. So, yeah, check that out. Um, stay posted. I have some other cool videos uh, this week and other features coming up. So, uh, take care. I have my LA workshop this weekend and then I'll be going to... Uh, Korea for a week. I'm going there with my girlfriend Cindy to uh, support her at a conference. The week after that, I'll be in Paris doing a street photography workshop there. South of France for two months, which will be pretty cool because um, she's doing research. Uh, my girlfriend's doing research. Uh, she's studying Vietnamese colonial history. So, you know, how the French colonized the Vietnamese. So I'll be down there doing some research there. Or not doing research. I'll be chilling. She'll be doing the research. Uh, after that, I have a workshop with uh, Charlie Kirk and Andy uh, Kochanowski in Istanbul. And uh, yeah, so I'm going to be gone for a while. And at the end of August, I'm actually moving to um, to Michigan to be with Cindy. So expect some cool street photography to come out from Detroit. Um, yeah, I guess that's it for now. Um, stay posted. Thanks for the love and support. Peace out.